Memories are essentially albums that are automatically created by the Photos app and then presented as a video with transitions and background music. I'll double click on the Olympic memory and the video is going to begin with background music. Move the pointer and several controls will appear across the bottom of the video. Click here to pause it. Over on the far left we can then restart the movie. Click here to switch to a different background track. We'll get some top suggestions and a selection of soundtracks. These tracks are free to use in photos. If you're subscribed to Apple Music, any track available there can be added as a background track in Memories. Click the Memory Looks button here, and we can apply a filter to the entire movie. So I could make the entire memory black and white with a single click. Or instead, bump up the contrast of the video. Next, we have thumbnails for each image in the memory. We can click on each one to quickly jump to it as the memory plays. Use your arrow keys to quickly move back and forth through the images. Notice that the background music is not affected as I jump from image to image. To the right of the play pause button, we can click to view all the photos and videos within the memory in an album-like grid. Click and drag on these to adjust the order that they'll be played back in. Click the add button down here and we can actually click on these thumbnails to remove them from the memory. I could then add any photo or video that I want into the memory. Any image with a blue outline will be included. Click the back button and then restart to watch the edited memory. We're not able to edit the timing of the slides, the transitions, or the animation. That is all done automatically with memories. To manually edit timing and transitions, we need to create a video in iMovie. Back out in the Memories view, we can right or control click on a memory to favorite that memory. Doing this is going to move it under the Favorite Memories tab. We can also edit the title of any memory. In smaller libraries like this one, memories will tend to get repeated, like this Olympic memory and snow days. To decrease this, we can either have the date or location of the memory featured less, or we can delete a memory. We can't create a memory from a selection of photos in our library. But we can view a memory video of any standard album. In this balloon launch album, I just need to click the play memory video button here and it will start playing. We're able to adjust the background music, look, and the included images. To then save this permanently as a memory, Click on the ellipsis button here and edit title. Save and this memory will then be available in the Memories section of the sidebar. While viewing a memory, it can be exported as a video file using the File menu and Export. We can also share memories from the share button in photos. If you have an Apple TV and iCloud Photos is activated, it can be a great way to view the collection of memories in your library. From an Apple TV, we can control the playback of a memory, but we can't edit it in any way.
As photos and videos are added to your library, the Photos app will automatically build new memories. In Photo Settings and General, we can pretty much turn memories off by unchecking the Show Featured Content box here. We can also deactivate memories for holiday events and turn off notifications for when new memories are built. Resetting suggested memories will undo any of the feature less commands that had been made prior. Memories are a great way to review and be reminded of past events. Photos will create them automatically and we can edit them or add them to our favorite memories. We can build our own memories from any of our albums.